Welcome back to another video on Trick Factory Customs. This is your first time watching. Be sure to leave a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. Uh, and I think it's gonna be pretty awesome because we got a 3D scanner and we are gonna be scanning this car or some parts of this car and testing it out. And the 3D scanner we got in question was the Shining 3D's Einstar. Alex is gonna scan the intake ducts for the slant nose wide body that we created. Yep. And the scanner's gonna help us out. It's a very organic, very unusual shape. Um, it's a, there's a left and a right, so they're handmade. There's slight differences in between each. And to make sure that they fit perfectly, we're gonna be using the scanner. So Alex is the, he's the, brain, the brains behind the operation here. <laughs> and uh, he's, gonna, he's gonna dive into it. So whenever it ships, it comes with all of this stuff. I just really, I really like this case. It comes with a power brick, uh, a bunch of paperwork, uh, and this guy. So this is, this is the unit in question. So Alex, and you've been using it for a few weeks now. So I have, how yeah. is this thing so far? I mean, I've done like, I'm still learning how to use it properly. Yeah. But we've been using it to like do some basic scans of like contours and stuff. But it's working pretty good, but I haven't used any like scanning spray, which we yeah. will do today. Okay. But yeah, so far it's been working pretty Porsche, good. Porsche, Porsche, Porsche. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. BP1's in the house. Yeah. <laughs> that was that's so oh, that's definitely going to the video. Yeah. And we haven't bought the actual scanning spray. This is like a DIY method of spraying at home. We use like 60% uh, baby powder and 40% isopropyl alcohol. Then you mix it together and spray it. And awesome. then when you spray it, the uh, alcohol dries and it leaves like a surface of baby powder. This DIY spray works really, really great, but there's obviously a little bit of cleanup afterwards. So depending on the project in hand, uh, you might want to make sure to invest in the actual aerosol spray for 3D scanning because it dissolves and just, you know, becomes invisible on its own. This, unfortunately, you have a, bit, a little bit of cleanup. The iStar connects to the computer and then there's a proprietary software that uh, you're gonna have to use. So with the X-Star, they provide it and I think it works pretty well. Does yeah, it? Yeah, it's pretty self-intuitive. The UI on the program is pretty straightforward. And also like Alex is like a professional, like this guy knows computers. <laughs> I am not and I could tell you straight up that the interface on this works really, really easily. We're gonna just create a new project group. You could either use just the spray or just as is. That'll be just features, I think. Before we could start the scan, all the panels that we didn't want the baby powder getting on had to be masked off. After which Alex began spraying the alcohol and baby powder solution on the vents. Rob then used some compressed air to speed up the drying process. The point of that is to remove the gloss, you know, provide a nice white matte finish, right? And once it was dry, Alex began scanning. This is a photograph of like of this that I took and imported into Sketchbook, and then I just drew this up. So what he's going to create is this bezel that flush mounts perfectly to the contour of that intake duct. Pretty hard to imagine being able to make this any other way, other than using something like this. Oh wow! So, yeah, so far, this is what the scan looks that like. That was fast. Yeah. What? It's scanned really nice with the baby powder. I'm really happy with how it's scanning. It's, I think it's been like, what, five minutes since we started no, scanning? No, like three. <laughs> yeah. It's really good. Nice. Might just take a couple more minutes to scan some more details and then, yeah. Hard to imagine it getting much easier than that. I know. <laughs> For what this thing costs, the value of it is priceless. Also, if you want to know how much this costs, you can pick one of these up for $969 US. These guys also make other scanners too because they wanted us to get like more expensive ones, but for what we're doing, yeah. this one is perfectly fine, I think. Yeah, because yeah, this is entry level for us right now. Like yeah. we, we've never had a scanner in house before. We've always had to farm that work out. So for us to get our hands on this for that price point, it's the best, I love yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, and it's pretty cool. So let me show you what the software is seeing. So you can see as you move the scanner around, uh, it kind of scans the green parts is parts that are scanned perfectly gloriously and so when it's in the green you're all good 
or when it's in the red, oh, you can move it around a little bit so you can go towards the middle. What about cleanup? Because I know cleanup is a big thing that you would want to do in a scanning or in a scan rather. Yeah, so from the limited number of scans that I've done, um, the software is pretty straightforward. There's like auto, like manual filling hole selection. Yeah. So you just click where like it prompts like there's like an empty hole and it just fills it for you. Clean up is like just sort of like removal of any scanned area that you actually don't want. Yeah. So it makes your, your file size smaller, more usable. Yeah. Right? One thing I've learned is like, um, even these scans, there's too many, too much data on the actual scan itself. So when you actually import it, you have to reduce the number of like triangles pretty much to reduce the mesh like size. Mm. It's too fine. And when you're actually working on that surface, it takes too much like processing power for the yeah. computer to handle. <laughs> yeah. But even with that reduced resolution, it's still able to like maintain the shapes that we want like perfectly. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. And, and um, imagine like in that respect, like reducing the resolution is gonna be very much like project dependent. Like what we're working on here today, there's no super fine details. Like we're not trying to, uh, I don't know, Scan like reverse engineer board. some sort of machined part yeah. or something like that for an engine or something, right? Whereas in that respect, you would want super fine detail. This, we're going for an aesthetic and a fit. Once Alex was done cleaning up the scan, he imported it into Fusion 360 and was able to design the bezel for the intake duct going off the dimensions that were captured in the scan. And once that was done, we put the scanner to use once more to test out its capabilities. So we're going to be scanning the engine of this skylight. Well, not the entire engine, but just where the intake housing is. Because mm -hmm. we're going to be building an adapter going from where that is to the location that we wanted to go to. Yeah, in case you guys don't know, this is a Wagner Supercharge LS uh, based engine and it makes what a thousand I think 1100 horsepower on pump gas so it's a monster and uh, it's going into this Buick Skylark uh, so we're building a massive hood vent or hood cowl for it and um, yeah some clearance needs to be made for it to be able to fit under the hood so that's why we decided to move all of this down here or the uh, throttle body down here so and so now we're gonna see some scan spray that we got spray on the engine and see start scanning sweet so this scanning spray uh it should dissolve afterwards first of all you need because of all this black light you need some mattness yeah, in the matte white yeah texture. for it to work well yeah and so you have to spray this and so those this, does the white stay on or does it dissolve yeah. afterwards? So it's or? supposed to vanish after 12 to 24 hours. Oh, that's sick, okay. Compared to the other spray that yeah, we were using. Compared to the baby powder we were yes, using. Yes, yes. a lot of cleanup for that one. Are you scared? Kind of right here. Yeah, I know. This engine costs like it's above my tax bracket. Quite a bit. Once we were done scanning the engine, intake, and hood, Alex then utilized the app to help clean up the scans before importing them into Fusion 360 to design the needed parts. Ever since we got the scanner, we've been using it almost every day and it's become part of one of our essential tools at the shop. So if you're looking to invest in a 3D scanner, we highly recommend the Einstar from Shining 3D. The ergonomics are not the best since you have to hold it like this and scan all the time and the hand gets a little bit fatigued. But for the price, scan accuracy and functionality this thing packs, it's a great bang for the buck. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.